This is footage from my out-of-air incident that occurred on July 5th at the USS Mindanao dive site. Everything was going to plan, and I was really enjoying this location. I was swimming to the front of the group and then to the back, trying to get a variety of shots for the video. See, I normally dive with my best friend JD. Me and him have dove a lot together and can easily read each other underwater. On this particular dive, I was filling an empty seat on the boat after someone else had bailed on the trip. I didn't see this being much of an issue though. I closely monitor my air and stay close to the group. I didn't realize yet that this extra swimming was setting me up for a very bad experience. My air was much lower than everyone else's, but I just thought we were nearing the end of the dive. I was not familiar with this location, and with the viz sometimes dropping to 15 feet or less, I just played follow the leader to get back to the anchor line. But I kept wondering how soon will that happen. Eventually, the group stops to compare air. Most everybody was around 1500 psi. I glance at mine and see 900. I'm thinking, dang, that's the end of the dive, and Keith, our leader, gives the signal to turn around. We start swimming back in just a mild current along the bottom. We make some progress, and I can start to see what I thought was the ascent location, but it wasn't. Just more concrete casings. I go to check my air again and feel that my SPG hose feels very limp. I read 400 psi. I wave down Keith and give him the sign for low air. He nods and points in a direction and begins to swim hard. It looks like he is descending again and I feel frightened as I chase after him. I can hardly catch my breath and I start to slow down. I feel like my CO2 is climbing, all while trying to conserve air. I check my gauge again and see 200. Now I am starting to panic. I'm taking smaller breaths than normal, thinking it will make a difference, but it has a very negative effect by increasing my CO2 levels even further and making me feel like I'm running a marathon, huffing and puffing my air even faster. I'm swimming full bore at Keith and right before I reach him, it's getting hard to pull air with less than 100 psi. I can just reach his fins, and I start trying to tug on one to get his attention. He turns around and I let him know I'm in trouble. He turns as if he is about to start swimming fast, and I am in terror. I know at this point I'm in serious trouble. I'm not sure if I should speed up and catch Keith or head for the surface right where I'm at. I remember vividly thinking, I'm going to end up killing myself on this dive. Little did I know, he was pointing at the anchor line, showing me we are back. but the tank runs empty. He immediately gives me his octo and we start to share air on the safety stop. My empty tank is so buoyant that I had to complete my stop upside down, which all things considered was fine by me. I couldn't help but feel embarrassed as the rest of the group make their way up the anchor line and see that I'm sitting there out of air. I made multiple mistakes on this dive, and I admit that. I will never again assume that the dive is almost complete. I gave the OK signal multiple times, even though I wasn't OK.
Keith was very busy with multiple new divers and I didn't want to burden him by telling him I'm out of air every five minutes. I was hesitant on sharing this, but realized how wrong I was when I was thinking. Nobody is a burden down there. We are all friends and want our friends to make it back. They told me that confidence is dangerous, and it certainly is. I just didn't even realize what I was doing to myself.